GTF, Kisa, what's good? Another day, another video. GTF was good. GTF was good. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed, Jared. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed. GTF was going on. GTF was going on, man. That's another day. You hear me? It's Sunday. You understand me? It ain't Sunday. It's Sunday. You know what I mean? And your boy just getting out the house. Uh, like I told y'all yesterday, I was on my way to Orlando, so now I'm in Orlando. All right, and take care of what I had to take care of. Me, I'm the type of person that like to hit the road early so I can get back to Miami early. You feel me? I don't want to be on the road all day. Uh, so with that being said, I was trying to find a place to review in Orlando, and a lot of these restaurants open up like 11, 11 a.m., noon. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm such an early bird that that's kind of late for me, you feel me? So... Uh, I remember yesterday um, uh, when I posted that video, uh, GTF Patrice, she said, you should try Portillo's or Portillo's. I don't really know how it's pronounced. So I looked up Portillo's, there's one in Orlando, and they open at like 10. Uh, it look like they sell like, sell like hot dogs and burgers and stuff like that. So I, honestly, I'm thinking about trying on Portillo's, you feel me? Or Portillo's, whichever how they pronounce it, you feel me? It's one of the two. Um, I actually looked it up first to make sure that there's not one in Miami because I didn't want to try Portillo's in Orlando if there's one in Miami, you feel me? Like, if I come up here, I really want to try something that we don't have down there in Miami. Uh, so I looked up the locations. I'm looking at the locations right now. They have them in Arizona, California. They got them in Florida, but we don't have them in Miami. In Florida, we got them in Brandon, Claremont, Kissimmee, Orlando, St. Petersburg, Tampa, they all over Illinois. It's like it's a mainly Illinois thing, you feel me? It's a whole bunch of locations in Illinois. So it's looking like it's mainly an Illinois thing. Indiana, Iowa, Iowa, Michigan, Minnesota, Texas, Wisconsin, you feel me? All them places. But yeah, man, they look like they specialize in like hot dogs and uh Hold on, what do you mean? Yeah, they, like they specialize in hot dogs and sandwiches and Stuff like that. So, we're about to go over here and give them a try. You understand me? They open at, uh, hold on. Hey, they open at 10.30? Or is it 10? I think they open at 10.30. We'll get there a little bit before they open, but we'll be like one of the first customers in the dough, you all right? So, anyway, man, we about to hit the Portillo's, man. You feel me? Buckle up real quick. Let go! All right, fam. We pulling in right now. All right, fam. Here we go, yer. Portillos, yer. I'm from Miami, yer. So in Miami, this will be called Portillos. All right, fam. Let's go see what this Portillo's hitting for. Fam, I ain't gonna lie. They playing their music loud. I already see they gonna try to hit me with the copyright infringement. It's crazy. Thank you. 
I found. We got the grub, yeah. We got the grub. And y'all already know, grub on sight. Don't cause no fight. I found. We in the whip, yeah. And we got the grub, yeah. We got the grub. We got that Portillo's, yeah. Man, it's a jungle out there, yeah. I don't like this one. I don't like this rental car. I don't like, I don't like the way things shape in here. I don't like the space. I don't like the room. The only good thing about this rental car that I do like though, is that the fact that it actually has, damn, my thing at? It actually has one of those, um, one of those plugs, that you, like a house plug type thing. So you could plug, you could plug your, you could plug your cell phone charger in that way. Like on the house plug. That's the only thing I really like about it. I mean, I don't really like the shape. The takeoff week. All that. I don't like that, you know what I mean? When I say shape, I ain't talking about the shape. I'm talking about the shape of the interior. Like, me sitting the camera down on the dash, it's kind of difficult to find a nice position to sit the camera. You know what I mean? I don't know. Shit crazy. But yeah, uh, we got the food, so, uh, hold on. Just my chair real quick. Found. Time to set up Grub Tech Mobile Studios! Gotta set it up, you heard? I need this right here. Alright, so we got the mask right here. The wipes right here. White smell all lemony, herb. Lemony. Things smell good. So yeah, so uh, I went and got the Portillos. I got the, uh, let me see if I can put it up right here. I'll put it right here, be better. New menu. The two hot dogs, the number two. There's two hot dogs. They're supposed to be like Chicago style hot dogs or something to that effect. Number two, here you go right here. Two hot dogs with everything. It includes mustard, relish, celery, salt, freshly chopped onions, sliced red, red ripe tomatoes, kosher pickle, and sports peppers piled onto a steamy into a, a steamed poppy seed bun. And also got it with this this combo, so it comes with a fry and a drink, y'all. Large fry and a drink. So it's two hot dogs. Um, I paid fourteen fifty six, y'all. Fourteen fifty six. So it's not grub for under half a dub, y'all. So that's what I paid for the two hot dog meal. I know y'all gonna complain about the price. Hey, it is what it is. Everything out here is expensive these days, y'all. Everything out here is expensive. Let's pop this thing open. So basically, them hot dogs I got are supposed to be Chicago style hot dogs. So basically, we try Chicago style hot dogs in Orlando, Florida. So here go the fries, y'all. These are the fries right here. This is a little pepper thing I think you put on the side. Anymore. I ain't 
two of them, so I'm gonna unravel this one. Voila. All right, fam, that close-up action. This is a Chicago-style hot dog. These the fries. I think these the peppers they put on the side because I'm not a big pepper person. But I ain't gonna lie, fam. I got two of these. I just unraveled one. These hot dogs sound tiny, boy. For the 1456? Yeah, they hitting people in the head over there. I ain't even gonna cap them, y'all. We got tomatoes, lettuce in there. All the stuff that I read to y'all from the um from the website. Y'all drop them comments if you had poor TOs before. You gotta pour one for the GT yeah. Alright, fam. Here it is. Here it is. Get them Chicago style hot dogs, you heard? Chicago style hot dog from Portillo's. Now, I wanted to look up Portillo's a little bit, so I went on their website. Let me give y'all a brief little rundown right quick. In 1993, in 1963, Dick Portillo invested $1,100 into a small trailer to open the first Portillo's hot dog stand in Villa Park, Illinois which he called the Dog House. Years later, Portillo's has become a brand synonymous with Chicago. In fact, we're kind of a big deal is what it says. People say it's not a real trip to Chicago unless you eat a Portillo, yeah? Unless you eat a Portillo. So this place originated in Illinois, Villa Park, Illinois. So with that being said, when I went in there, I wanted to try the Chicago style hot dog. So that's what I ordered. I got the number two, which came with the two Chicago, two Chicago style hot dogs. The Chicago style hot dogs. Um, um, where you at, the Chicago style hot dogs. Our hot dogs, they come with everything. It includes mustard, relish, celery, salt, freshly chopped onions, sliced red, ripe tomatoes, kosher pickle, and sport peppers piled onto a steamed poppy seed bun. I ain't got two of them, I ain't gonna lie to you. For the 1456, I ain't gonna lie, this wasn't enough food for the 1456. Like, these hot dogs were small. Like, no disrespect, like, I'm not trying to bash nobody's business. I'm just giving my honest opinion. You feel me? Like, these hot dogs, y'all see the poppy seed on the bun? I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, all the ingredients are fresh now. But basically, it's just a hot dog, like a, a regular hot dog. They put the mustard, all that other stuff, relish, tomatoes. The pickle on top and whatever. But basically, this is something you could have made at the crib. That's how I feel about it. You feel me? I'm not trying to bash them. All the ingredients are fresh. You feel me? All that. But I could have made this at the crib. I mean, they hit your boy for 1456. Yeah, they got your boy, you heard? But it is what it is, though. Everything, everything these days is hot. You feel me? Everything these days is hot. All right, so I'm about to try it right now for y'all. You heard? Got a pickle on top of all that. Chicago style hot dog. Hit the B. I mean, you got the pickle on there. That give it that um, that tangy sour flavor. The hot dog is not a bad hot dog. I see all the ingredients fresh. The bun, nice and soft, it's not bad. You feel me? It's definitely edible. I ain't gonna lie about that. It's not like I'm gonna say it's nasty to the point I don't want to throw it out. Like I don't want to eat it, I'm gonna throw it out the window. It's definitely edible. It don't taste bad at all. But for that price, it's not really amazing. Like, it ain't different from what I can make at the house. You know what I mean? Boil a hot dog, put it on a bun, throw a pickle on top, tomatoes, relish, all that other stuff you guys put on there, mustard. I can make this at the crib. It's not, you know what I mean? It's not amazing. It's not. Basically, I can make this at the crib. You feel me? Buy a pack of hot dogs, whatever. A lot of the other stuff I purchased. I could probably make at the crib as well. But a lot of the other things I purchased will probably be 
more difficult to make at the crib. This is like super easy in my opinion, you feel me? Just boil the hot dog, put it on the bun, put some uh, tomatoes, pickles on it, put some mustard on there, some relish on there, and whatever else they said on there. There's so many stuff that they said on there. But ultimately, it doesn't taste bad. Would I go buy it again? Nah, not for, not for no 1456. Now, for example, like it kind of reminds me of the hot dogs, like, like, like you know what I'm saying? The hot dog stands be on across the street, uh, on the side of the street. That's what it reminds me of. One of them type of hot dogs. You feel me? So, I'm not giving the man, the hot dog man on the side of the street, 14 something. You feel me? So, no, I'm not going to pay 1456 no more. I just did it at one time. You know what I mean? Tried it out, but it's not. It's definitely edible. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I could have got one day burgers or something, but I didn't want to try a Chicago style hot dog and see what it was about. Most well, definitely edible. It's like if you bought a hot dog from the hot dog man on the side of the street, the hot dog cart. It ain't the best, but you'll definitely eat it though. Get deep in. Ultimately, it's just basic, you heard? So I gotta go with a off point. You ain't off point. It ain't all that. It ain't surprise me or nothing. But that don't mean I'm giving up on Chicago food though. I most definitely still gotta try other food that Chicago has to offer. But this hot dog right here, I mean, maybe I might try a hot dog in, while in it. If I go to Chicago and try a hot dog there, you feel me? I might be amazed. But this right here ain't hitting on nothing. You ain't hitting on nothing. Chicago, I love y'all. You feel me? I love y'all, Chicago. I'm gonna have to try. Maybe when I do get to Chicago, try one of y'all hot dogs from there or just try some other Chicago. I'm not giving up on Chicago, man. I got much love for Chicago. I got supporters in Chicago. I got GTF in Chicago, you heard? But this hot dog right here, unfortunately, Chicago ain't hitting on nothing, you feel me? I'm just being real with you. I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie, you feel me? I don't want to lie. And for 1456, it's most definitely hitting. It most... I ain't going to lie. With the drink and the fries. I say eight dollars. I say eight. Feel me? Eight dollars at the most. That's what I think it's worth. But then again, you know what I mean? We got inflation going on, so things is high out here. You feel me? So it is what it is, though, man. But yeah, man. We done got that food. About to go ahead on to get up out of here, man. Got to get down back to Miami. We still in Orlando with. I got a couple hours ahead of me to get down to the, get down that road, you Appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, you like the video, go ahead on and join the GTF. How do you join the GTF? All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel. You are part of the GTF now. You understand me? What is GTF? Grub Tent Family. That's what GTF is, you heard? The Grub Tent Family. We're family on this side. 97,000 strong and growing, you understand me? GTF for life on this side, man. Appreciate all you guys for tuning in. All original GTF members, all the new GTF members. Appreciate all y'all, man. Y'all go in on like and share that video. All that you heard. I'm about to get on down that road. It's GTF for life.